Welcome back to Magic Tarot. This is Jasmine with a um, tarot card reading for the zodiac sign of Virgo for the month of July. I'm sorry. Uh, I was out of town and I didn't finish my July reading, so I'm back now and I'm going to go ahead and finish them up. Anyway, I appreciate with the cards. I have three cards here for you. Virgo, you have the Ace of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Okay, Virgo, for the month of July, I see that you're going to be starting something new. You're ready to start something new. You have the hand from the universe coming out and offering you new uh, projects, new jobs, new relationships, new friendships. Anything new is going to be coming towards you. Okay, so which is a good thing. And also see a lot of you have new attitudes um towards you know finding a new job for towards yourself towards family members uh relationships and things like that okay but i also see um there's messages coming through here okay um this is the card of third party spying or of spying and it's also a messenger card so um anytime you see birds flying or birds in the cards that means there's a message coming through and this man is here bringing you a message. Um, it also could be coming from a younger person, which would be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Or it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius spying on you. There's somebody spying on you through social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Or um, it also could mean third-party spying as far as, like, I'm seeing someone hired someone to go park outside your house and spy on you. So watch out for that. Um don't get scared. They're not going to hurt you any kind of way. But I do see someone stalking you, spying on you. So be careful with that. They're just trying to find out what you're doing, what you're up to. It could be an ex that you dumped. And they're looking at you through Facebook. So be careful what you post because, you know, Facebook, everyone looks at Facebook. Um, I do see maybe you finding out who it is. That's why you have this card Five of Wands next to you. See how the people are fighting. Wands is emotions and feelings. So with the Five of Wands, there's people fighting. There's no um, the, there's no compromise. And you could be fighting with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, so maybe once you find out who it is that's spying on you, you're going to catch them, and there's going to be a big fight. Um... So I would be careful with that as well. Okay, also with this five of wands, it could represent that there's fighting at work. Um, you're not um, meeting eye to eye with your employees or your boss. Um, it's just You just feel kind of um, like the energy is scattered. There's nothing under control uh, or disorganization. It also could mean like there's a legal matter that... It doesn't seem right to you, like legal issues, and you need advice for that. You need to seek advice um, so you can kind of better handle it. But in any event, the energy is scattered in the month of July as far as that is concerned. So there's three messages here, okay? The first message is, you know, you have new beginnings and new starts, you know, for a lot of you, which is good. But you also have someone spying on you, and it's someone from your past, someone that you broke up with, or um, something went wrong with somebody. I'm seeing, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then you have all these fighting energy at your job, with your relationship, with your friends. Uh, maybe you're caught off guard by it, and you're, you're not really sure why it's happening. Um or why someone's fighting against you, uh, but you feel like you need to defend yourself in the month of July. And you might be defending yourself against this person here, someone trying to sue you, take you to court. And to, to court. But anyway, the, difficult, the situation looks difficult, and you need to find more clarity on it before you can move forward. So um, seek advice for that from your counselor, your attorney, or you know whoever it is that you're dealing with. Try to find out what's going on and don't be caught off guard. The message is don't be caught off guard. You know, if you're in some type of legal struggle, make sure you have all your information before you go into court. 
so you can come out on top, okay? Watch out for the third party spying because I do see someone sitting outside your house watching you, maybe through binoculars or just watching when you come outside. Again, don't be afraid. This person is not going to hurt you, but I would most definitely look out before you go outside to see who it is that's sitting out there looking at you. Don't post everything on Facebook because there's most definitely somebody watching you on Facebook, looking to see what you're up to, maybe wanting to sabotage. If you have a new job, because you're getting a new job offer here or a new relationship or something new that's coming in, but this person wants to sabotage it because this person's mad at you and they want to sabotage it. So don't I don't advise you to post everything right away, especially in the month of July. Um, in the month of July, uh, Mercury is going to retrograde. That's another thing. During Mercury retrograde, there's a lot of things that, that uh, ha happen, like um, don't sign major contracts because you'll miss a clause in it. Um, it's not really good to travel during Mercury retrograde because you could have a car breakdown or car crashes. Usually there's plane crashes, car crashes, you know, whatever. Um if you do have to travel, pack as if you were going to break down. Let's say you in the car, you break down, you're going to need extra water, blankets, food, or whatever. Pack like that in the month of July because Mercury retrograde will cause breakdowns. Also, be careful with small items like your sunglasses, keys, cell phones. All those will be misplaced and you won't be able to find them. So keep track of those items as well. Um, don't purchase anything electrical like anything with moving parts such as cars um anything electrical that you have to plug in you'll end up buying a lemon so if you're going to purchase a car wait till mercury retrograde is over and that will be next month I'll, I'll post more about that as we go through mercury retrograde it retrogrades on the seventh but we're already in the shadow phase mercury retrograde is the redo planet so whenever it retrogrades everything we do we're going to have to redo it so if you buy a car, you're gonna have to you're gonna end up with a lemon, so you're gonna have to redo it. So you get the picture. And also we're gonna have lots of computer breakdowns. So if your cell phone starts to slow down during Mercury retrograde, um don't go buy another one because it's just the retrograde that's doing it. So wait for that to pass, and then your phone should start picking back up and you'll see the difference. Okay? Anyway, that is your message for um, July for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And don't forget, you can look the retrograde up. All you have to do is Google it, and you can look it up, and it can tell you more in depth of what I'm talking about. Okay, that is your message for July. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Be careful, and bye-bye.